What's up, Techno fam? Back at you with more CES 2024. And as you know, trying to find audio products at CES is pretty easy. You got, you know, $20, $30 everythings, headphones, microphones, you know, anything you want that's super cheap. But finding that hi-fi experience at CES, it's been dwindling for years. So luckily, the folks at Macintosh Group or you know, Macintosh, Sonus Bobber, contacted me to come by the super secret suite at the Win. Is that where we are? Yep. And we're all winning in this room. So I'm here with uh, Livio, and we're going to talk about the Suprema. Hi, everyone. I'm Livio Kukuzza. I'm chief design officer for uh, Macintosh Group. And uh, here we have our latest creation, uh, probably our most ambitious speaker design ever. Suprema is a four-column uh, system, uh, two main columns and two subwoofers. Plus, you have an electronic crossover to control the, the subwoofer uh, alignment. We are here because we are celebrating also our 40th anniversary this year, and this product is our present. Oh, okay. To yourself. To ourself. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, big present, as I, as yeah. I, as I can say. Um, it's taller than you. <laughs> of course, of course, but not taller than uh, the main designer, Mario, <laughs> okay. in, in the background. <laughs> so the, it's, it's the most ambitious because, it's a, as I said, it's a fort column uh, system plus we have a lot of new technology inside and this new technology will dictate our roadmap acoustic design for the next next years. I, I noticed you have the the plug here in the uh, mid-range kind of like the um, Stradivari G2. Sure. Yeah I, I heard those in North Carolina in August. I'm not a Sonus Faber guy but those I really like those. <laughs> I really like those so you know great job and and these ones look amazing. I got a little bit of a demo guys but you know, I was at the back of the room, so I'm gonna have a better demo to show you guys in, in a minute. Sure. But uh, as, as far as uh, design, we can uh, start talking about the most uh, probably the most important component of the speaker, the mid-range. As you already noticed, we have our face plug technology already applied, but that was present also on the new homage uh, homage series. What's new about this? Uh, we call it Camellia because of the shape is not rounded anymore. It's a way to control edge diffraction of the, of the cone, plus you don't have the suspension on the, on the membrane, so the, the membrane is completely exposed to the listener. The pulp, it's a natural paper pulp, as in the tradition of Sons Faber, of course, but what's really new is, is the motor, pretty unique. It's a dual drive motor. This means that instead of having a magnet and a coil, you have a magnet and two coils in a configuration which is called push-pull. Okay. So you have a lot more accuracy, a lot more dynamic, and mo more control. In this case, we also completely redesigned the basket following our rules to create shapes that are more organic and not geometric. For Ooh. such a special uh, unit, we needed an, en an enclosure to maximize the performance of, of, of the driver, and we wanted a complete organic shape to load the mid-range, so we create the first ever acoustic loading in uh, recycled cork. Cork is an amazing material. We fall in love with, with the material itself. Of course, it's, it's, a, it's a recycled material, so it's sustainable. It has a great acoustic properties, it's uh, water resistant, fire resistant, and the beauty of it is that you can mold it uh -huh. the shape you want. So we simulate with computer simulations the shape, the perfect shape, and then we modeled the enclosure to be the perfect companion for, for the driver. The Plus, uh, the characteristic of materials allow us to basically have a very limited damping material inside. Right. So with the result that we have more energy uh, in, in, the, in the listening room. Right, and so um, in this assembly you have two tweeters, is that right? Yes. So uh, this is a technology that we already used in our Arena system. It's a system made for theaters. And the reason in that case was to reach a very high level of sound pressure without distortion. Uh, in this case, we are using them uh, for the same reason also, but also for extending the frequency response up to 40 kilohertz, which was the goal for this system. So the system uh, uh, with the subwoofers uh, can reach from 16 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Okay, now we're talking my language. So let's, let's talk about this. Put that down. Where is it? Let's talk <laughs> about the subwoofers. Uh, uh, what size are the drivers? Ah, the how driver much, is there. How much, uh, oh my gosh, look at that. This is a pretty, pretty spectacular woofer, probably the most powerful woofer 
on the iFi market right now. It's a neodymium motor with a carbon fiber membrane, and we do it together with a shell of the of the speaker. So it's the same material. We have four of that right. drivers two mounted. Per speaker, two per side. Two per side. And yeah, as I said, we are able to go deep, very deep, uh, without distortion. You said carbon fiber. This carbon fiber backing for both. Yes both the um, tower and the subs? Yes, one thing that we, we truly believe is uh, that there is no only one material that makes the difference. You have to combine different materials to exalt their characteristics. So always when we approach a system that has to have peculiar characteristics like, like this one, we, we try to use different materials where we need stiffness. Or right, you got, you got the cork, you've got the carbon fiber, you got We have wood, we have wood, cork, yes. we have leather, we have aluminum, and we try to use them in the best way possible to obtain the, the results we want. I noticed, is this the crossover network for... It's a portion. It's a portion, portion of the crossover okay. network. Okay. Actually, the two, the two windows shows the crossover network of the two tweeters right. okay. and the back, uh, the back driver. There's the, a the, driver in the back. Yes, there is a driver. There is oh. a two-way speaker in the back here. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. Oh. Yeah. When, what are these things? And then you have uh, the possibility to tune. Uh, this, is, uh, this is for the position of the uh, mid-eye section, so you can tilt it to adjust to the listening position. Really? Okay. Plus, you have the possibility to tune the level of the mid-range and the level of the tweeters. Especially in this case, we are doing uh, all the leveling and the attenuation of the, or the mid-eye section using autoformers and not resistors. This will uh, increase or decrease the uh, distortion. It's, it's a complex system, as you can see from the, from the unit. This is the system we are using just to compensate the level of, okay. of the mid-eye section. So your customers can get a completely finely tuned system to their space. Absolutely. Right? There are two programs, two important programs related to the speaker. So a customer that is intended to buy this, this system has a three day uh, paid uh, to stay with us in Italy to discover more about the speaker, to customize the speaker, because we can customize everything about the speaker. Uh, stay with us uh, in a hotel. Like, in, like you're at your house? Not exactly my house. I'm just, just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm depend kidding. by the customer. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the best, uh, the best hotels in uh, in Venice, and uh, he can have a full uh, Italian experience. Plus, he can customize the speaker. Very cool. And the second program we have is we will send one of our guy uh, to do the installation in the house of the customer. I mean, with the with the price tag. Exactly. You know, it, it, it should go, the service should go along with the price exactly. tag. The price tag suggests that uh, you, you, you need to offer a good service. So let's talk about the amplifier. Ah, yeah. We are uh, launching together with the speaker the new Macintosh 2.1 kilowatt. It's a mono amplifier, a succeed to the MC 2.0. Uh, okay. And, and we, it's the whole stack, right? It's all three. It's the all three per, okay. per, per channel. Yeah. And we are using them for the subwoofer. And then we are using two 1.2 kilowatt for the main columns. And then we have the new CD player, which now is used as a DA converter because we are using uh, Rune and Tidal to, uh, to, to fire the system. Okay. And then we have the 12,000 preamplifier. Everything is connected to the electronic crossover. The electronic crossover is made to make possible the alignment between the main channel and the subwoofer. In this setup, we are using the electronic crossover only for the subwoofer, so the signal is not passing through the crossover for the main. Okay. What's special about this, it's, uh, it's a design that we did completely in-house in Italy. It's full analog, so okay. there is no digital conversion. No, they don't uh, have to go from digital source to then analog and then through this DA again. Right, okay, got it. It would have been much easier to use a DSP, uh, sure. but we wanted to do whole fashion. Uh, right, and you know, everybody likes turning knobs. Right. I agree with you. It's, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, more, yeah. uh, it's more human, it's more uh, co uh, warm. Uh, and also it's better for the signal because uh, I, I can't imagine someone having a beautiful turntable set up and passing through an ADC and then... Uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah. It's full analog, it's full uh, discrete components, separate power supply, dual mono, so state of the art. Very good. Livio, right? How do you say yes. your last name again? Kukuza. Kukuza? Yes, you can oh, say Kukusi. Kukusi? Yes, it's what, okay. What is that? He's laughing. He's, is that a nickname? 
All right, you guys, uh, I'll have more uh, from this booth, or sorry, this suite, and more from CES 2024. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, I want to thank you again. Thank you. It was great. That was, a great that was a great interview, wasn't it, guys? All right, and yeah, we'll catch you later.